Are you sick of jumping through hoops to transfer media to or from your Android device? Whether it's using the stupidly slow transfer speed through the data cable provided, where if you try to do anything other than one thing at a time, the device is busy, or breaking into your device, or at least that's what it feels like, through the layers of protection to retrieve the SD card, get it out, actually get it into a card reader the right way up or down or left or right, all the while thinking, is this going to break before I get it back in? Well, fear not, dear friends, there is another way. Okay, full disclosure, this is a two-step process. And yes, you could probably cut out one of those steps by doing it wirelessly, syncing it to your phone, but how many times does that actually work? This is a foolproof, easy way to do it all, two steps, but both times, it's so much quicker to transfer the files. What you need is one of these. It's an OTG cable. You can get it from Amazon. I bought it back in the 31st of December 2014 um, for £2.95. That's all it is. Free UK delivery at the moment. Um, I will put a US link on there as well for free delivery in the UK, uh, in the US even. Um, but that's all you need. It's called an OTG cable. You can do loads of things with this uh, with an Android device. Uh, but this is what I'm concentrating on today. It's actually transferring files files between your phone and a PC or a laptop. Uh, the only other thing you're going to need is a flash drive. There are probably some people out there who are like me who thought, oh yeah, but hold on, that's a micro USB. That's a USB. Why not just plug in a full external hard drive? It doesn't recognize it. Sadly, it won't recognize um, a, a hard drive. Granted, I'm using um, a, a HDD uh, hard drives. It might recognize an SSD. I doubt it though. Very, very much doubt it. Um, but anyway, for this process, any simple USB flash drive, whatever you want to call them, they will work absolutely fine. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step through how to move files around in your phone and to understand the operating system within there. If you understand Windows Explorer, File Explorer, anything like that with dragging in files and making folders and all that, and you can get that concept in your head, it's really, really simple. Apologies for the costume change, but life happened uh, and I just wanna get this out to you. So we take the USB that I've just shown you and that is, uh, let me grab that, that's over here. Uh, so there's, um, my USB, Adam, that's me, hello. I'm still down here by the way, uh, you can see. Uh, and here is what I wanna take over. These are some photos, there's 10, and I just wanna drag that over, the whole folder, over to my USB drive, and that's the transfer rate. Um, I'm, I wouldn't normally show this, but obviously I'm trying to highlight just how quick things are. He says, as it drops down to about two and a half megabytes a second. Cool, so that's done. Just to show you uh, what we're gonna be getting in this folder are just a series of uh, pictures that I've labeled as mood. Um, just kind of setting the scene for the evening. Lovely, lovely pictures. Each one an absolute, I'm sure you'll agree, winner. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take out that flash drive from the PC and going to plug it into the OTG cable on the phone. So here is said USB. We're going to take the device that I've got here and uh, the OTG cable is already plugged in. I'm going to take that. I just want to do this without doing two cams because uh, I really want to get this up. Uh, so we plug that straight in to the OTG cable. And if you look actually on the uh, the phone the device anything whatever uh, it already pops up with uh, with the file that's gone in and as you can see there's the folder uh, labeled mood now if I just go back here briefly as you can see this is my files you get that easily uh, by going to uh, wherever it is in your settings and going to my files and that's where that is and um, this is uh, this is fun as you can just make out there it says device storage SD card USB uh, so that's thank you that's where it is so this is the USB that I've put in as you can see an Android file has been created lost DIR has been in system volume inf uh, information that's cool that's just the Android system saying okay just need this on here just to make indexing easier don't even need to worry about it. You can delete it every time. It doesn't really matter. We get the file that we want, or sorry, or the folder. Long press to select it. Top right hand side. 
You can either move, copy, rename, add shortcut, zip it, or find the details to actually see how much it is. So say we check on the details. That says, this isn't easy. Take my word for it, it's 121 megabytes. So say you're looking to move them over. It's selected there. You press on the top right hand side and either copy or move. Obviously move is like a cut and paste. Copy is a copy and paste. So it depends if you want to keep these on here. I don't necessarily want to keep these on here. So I'm going to move these. And it's going to say, do you want it in the device storage, SD card or USB? Obviously the USB is where it's actually coming from. So you don't want to move it to where it is. So I'm going to say device storage. Press on device storage and you could just simply move here or if you wanted to create a, a folder for it. But this is already a folder. Obviously, if you were doing one file or, or multiple files. Uh, so I'm just going to say move here. And just like you would have on your computer, it's transferring. But remember, that's 121 megabytes and it's transferred. Now, I haven't sped that up. I haven't done anything with that and it really didn't take that long to transfer over to the USB either. So now I've got the OTG cable out and if I go to my gallery, uh, there's a new Instagram of my little kitten, but if I find mood and there are all the pictures already on the phone. So obviously that's ready to present. Obviously if I was doing something like this, I'd be putting it on at least a tablet, uh, but that's how quick it is to transfer files from your computer, your PC, your laptop, onto your phone. And that works just the same in reverse. Say there's a few pictures, videos, or anything that you wanna get off your phone, but again, oh, getting into the SD card, if it's saved into there, or similarly, if it's actually in the device storage, OTG cable in, find the files, select them all, copy or move onto the flash drive, uh, create a folder, done that's how easy it is to transfer back and forth again as i said two-stage process but both of those transfer times are far quicker than the slow snail-like speed that you get from a simple usb directly into the phone and into your pc or laptop if you have found it useful please let me know i'd love the comments below um one of my videos that i did uh, i think about a year ago about uh, connecting the phone to uh, a, a tv it's had thousands and thousands of views and the comments on it are great and uh, a lot of people asking advice and all that i'm always there i'm just one guy and um, i i love getting all the all the comments there's so many questions that i get asked and i think oh i hadn't even thought about that uh, but yeah i'd love to hear a few guys if you're brand new to here a uh, very very warm welcome please like the video subscribe if you're not and uh, keep up to date i also have one massive hack that is coming out very very shortly and personally it blew my mind because it's something that I was thinking about and I thought I wonder if that'll work and I guess no doubt just like you I'm the same I think ah will that work and nine times out of ten and not being a pessimist but nine times out of ten it's like well no obviously it doesn't you're an idiot but this time it really really did work and it's a hack involving Android phones and backup and seriously I think it's going to blow your mind because it's blown mine. Um, in the meantime, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, sorry about the awkwardness. I had plans of nice close-ups and pans and all that. But uh, as I said, life happened. And I just want to get this uh, up to you and out to you. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.